guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. I got my hands on the Morphe X James Charles palette. Whew. I have not been so excited for a makeup palette in a really long time. You guys probably have already seen it, but if not, I'm about to show you it. So this retails for $39 on both Ulta and Morphe's website. And here's what the outside packaging looks like. On the back here, it has his message to his subscribers, who he calls his sisters. And when you unbox the actual palette, it is in this matte black packaging, which I can really appreciate because I think a white would get really dirty really fast. And here are the shades. Just look at that. So there are 39 shades in here and that works out to be a dollar per shade. So that is not bad at all. I am so excited to start playing with this palette. It just looks so beautiful already. I do want to do some live swatching because there is one thing that I just could not see all over the internet. As soon as James did his reveal video, there was a lot of people speculating that he did fake swatches. So what I wanna do is some live swatching for you, show me so watching every single shade out, all 39 colors. That way, if you are curious as to how they swatch, you get to see it live in action. I'm gonna show you my arm before and then going in with a swatch. That way you have no doubts about how they are being swatched. So I'm gonna get started with that first. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. So I'm gonna start with row one going from left to right. And the first shade is called Canvas which is a matte cream shade and it really doesn't show up on my skin tone. We then have Ring Light. Third is So Good. Fourth is 518. Fifth is Rusted. Sixth is Halloween. Seventh is Wig. And Eighth is called T. So here is the first row swatched out. Second row, first up we have Punch Me, which is such an interesting name. Then we have the shade called Sister. Third is Mary. And fourth we have the shade Literally. Fifth is Your Kidding. Sixth, your, oh not your shook, it's shook. Seventh is called Boutique. And eighth is called Benny. And there you have the second row. So first up we have Flashback. Second we have Face. Third we have Tune. And fourth, we have Code James. We then have 10% off, No Beans, and Spooky. So here's the third row swatched out. Moving on to the fourth row now, we have the shade called B. We then have Guac. Third is Hello. And fourth is Playground. We then have Brother Artistry. Ooh, that one looked pretty. Love that. And lastly, Pinkity Drinkity, which is probably way too light for my skin tone. <laughs> kind of blends in there. But here we have the fourth row, last row now. So the first shade we have is called Social Blade. The second is Daddy. Oh, shoot. I grabbed swatches with the four fingers at a time, so that kind of dipped down there. Whoopsie. We then have Cape Cod, Cola. Fifth, we have Acapella. Six, we have Escape. Ooh, it looks like a good purple. Seventh, we have Single. And lastly, we have Skip. So here is the last row. 
And I don't know, it could be different swatching techniques where he's able to get a lot more pigment off on his arm. I don't want to assume anything. When I watched his reveal video, I didn't suspect anything. So, I mean, you can form your own opinion, but I just wanted to include those live swatches. That way you guys could see them in action for yourself. Oh, and inside of this palette, I did forget to mention, I think there's three different kinds of formulas. There is a pressed pigment and a regular eyeshadow and then the shimmery shades. The pressed pigments are ones that you have to work with differently. You have to pack them more instead of just trying to sweep them across the lid. So I'm going to try my best to remember which ones were the pressed pigment and use them in a different method when applying them to the lids. So I think we just need to start applying some of these shadows and see how they perform on the lids. So I'm going to zoom you guys a little bit closer and we're going to get into this. And before anything, I'm going to take some of my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden and work that into the lid so that way we have a good base to lay the colors down. So it's gonna be two different color schemes on each eye. I've seen this done on Instagram before. I'm not exactly sure who started this, but I'm gonna begin by taking the shade called B right here on the, it's not the inner corner. What is this? The inner part of the eye. I need to figure out the technical term. <laughs> and I'm using this with my Wet n Wild crease brush and just really laying that color down. Wow, that is pigmented. That is a good yellow. Ooh, this has me excited. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't even think it needs a second layer, but I kind of wanted to see what happens if you apply just a little bit more. Damn, that is pigmented. I freaking love that. And I'm only working it in this, like, inner part of the eye here because I'm gonna start doing some layering work and add different colors in. So now on my Luxie 121 brush, it's a small fluffy blending brush. I'm taking the shade 518 and I'm just going to be working this shade right here, right next to where I put B. So I'm just trying to lightly blend these two together, trying to make it look like it just forms to this shade and just kind of blending it down into that yellow as well. I'm trying to really merge these two together. Then on my Morphe Y19 brush, I'm gonna be taking the shade Rusted right next to that orange shade and kind of packing on the color, blending it out, trying to blend it in with that orange, being a little bit careful because that is actually very pigmented. I'm just kind of stippling that color in, like really pressing it in. If you need to help blend it into the orange, pick back up the orange brush you were using and then kind of brush over it. So you don't want to bring too much red into the orange, so what I'm doing is just kind of taking what's left over on the brush, sweeping it over that little crease into the red. That way you're not bringing it in too far in there. And then I'm also using the same brush to kind of help sweep out these edges a little bit up here. Definitely don't want to dip into any more product. I think that'll be way too pigmented. Oh yeah, that is looking good. And then I have been dying to test out the shade. You're kidding. So I'm going to be taking that on my Sigma. E45 brush, and I'm just gonna start blending that out in this outer crease. And I'm trying to merge it with the shade Rusted. And when he was saying in his reveal video that finding an actual true, true red shade is difficult, he is not lying. I, when I did my Halloween look of the devil kind of slash demon, I was trying to find a red shade, and there was none. I mean, there's variations of red, but they always have a very burgundy tint or they lean a little bit more pinkish. There's not an actual true, true red and I was using a very red face paint and trying to match that was so difficult. I honestly could have used this shade then because that does look very red. Taking just a little bit more and just kind of packing it right here. Just bringing it down like so, kind of sweeping it out here. And then I forgot to do that with the shade Rusted, so I'm taking just a little bit more on that Y19 brush and bringing it down a bit, laying it on top. And a teensy bit more of 518 and laying that on top of Rusted. So I am gonna be doing a cut crease, but not sure how far I'm taking it in yet, so I need to lay down that shadow there. And then I'm gonna get back to that in just a second. I'm gonna move on to this eye, and I'm gonna do the same kind of method here. 
but different colors. So I'm taking the shade called Social Blade, which was a bright green shade, on my Morphe Y17 brush, and I'm just kind of blending that in this inner part of the eye. I'm just reapplying just a little bit more there. Man, that is a bright green. It also looks so true to color when you blend it out. A lot of shades can go a little bit darker. That still stays looking very vibrant. Man, I need more blending brushes to do a look like this. I'm gonna take this shade called Playground, which is the lighter blue shade, and I'm gonna start packing that right next to where I put that green shade. This time I'm using my Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush, and I'm just kind of packing that color in right there. Dang, that is a blue. <laughs> it honestly keeps surprising me. There's so much pigment in this when I dip in to pick it up. And I'm also gonna just sweep that color down a little bit right to about here. Next up, I wanna take the shade called Cola, and I'm taking it on my Makeup Geek Pointed Crease Brush. I'm just gonna start packing it right next to that blue shade. You know, repeating the same process, packing it in, kind of blending it in with that playground shade. Try not to take it too far because this is a lot deeper of a color. And then taking the previous brush I used for playground and doing that same kind of method, sweeping over into that blue to blend these two together, try not to bring it onto the shade playground. Skittles, can you taste the rainbow? That's all I'm thinking as I'm looking at this. Then I'm gonna be taking that dark purple shade called Escape on my Makeup Geek, what is this? Define crease brush, and I'm gonna start laying that out here in the outer crease, or the outer V. Just packing on that color. Man, I feel like I need to dip less into the palette. <laughs> Build it up. It actually stays so true to actually purple. A lot of the purples do not apply that level. I've tested out a lot of purples and they are very difficult. For some reason, a lot of makeup companies just can't seem to get it right because when you apply it, it turns very dark. It can look a little bit muddy. It doesn't look really purple on the eyes, but this looks actually like purple. And then I'm taking a clean Sigma, what are you? E36 brush, and I'm just kind of running them along the edges here to blend them out. So just doing that all the way across here. And then I was kind of debating, you know, depending on how deep that purple was out there, if I wanted to add just a little bit more color out there just to help kind of deepen things up. So, fingers crossed that this works. I'm gonna take the shade Love That, see if we can uh, just put a little bit more depth out here. Which, this is more of like a magenta shade and I'm just trying to add a little bit more dimension to make it look a little bit deeper just right here. So that way you can kind of match how deep it was out there. Cause you don't want one eye to look darker than the other. So I think I'm just gonna place it like this, kind of pack it on, just like so. And then I'm gonna plop a little bit more of your kidding on top just to make sure that red is still very amplified. I want that red to be a standout. I'd say that works. Next, I wanna do a cut crease action. So I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna plop a little bit of concealer on right here and then look up. That way I can kind of get a line of where this concealer wants to go. And then just start filling it in. And then I'm gonna bring it to just right about here. And then just taking a flat little fluffy brush and kind of tapping out these edges so they blend outwards. Repeat that to the other eye. Then once that has been properly cut, let's um, take an all over the lid color there. What do I want to use? There's a lot of options. I do want to apply a shimmery shade instead of like a matte white because I want to test out the different formula of the shimmer. All right, I'm going to be a neutral Nelly and I'm going to go with the shade called Ring Light and start packing that on the lid because I wanted something that had a little bit of a neutral tone to it. It was still a shimmer, but it didn't have like an undertone of a pink or, you know, a blue, because otherwise, you know, they're a little bit different in the tones. So this one seemed like a safe choice to complement both. I feel like I wanted to go in a little bit more with that shadow, so I'm gonna take just a tiny bit more concealer, just try to round it out here. I was short by a little bit. So I'm just extending both sides just a smidge more. Because looking at it, I was like, hmm, 
want a little bit more outwards. So just taking a little bit more of that shade called Ring Light on top of the concealer we just placed. And then I wanna try to blend these edges with the colors I have out here on the crease. So I'm just gonna start building up a little bit of shade. So I'm taking 518, which was that orange, kind of layering it on top like so. And then just repeating that, adding a little bit of the shade called Rusted. Same thing over here, I'm taking a little bit of the shade called Playground, lightly tapping it on top, and then with Cola. And then a technique I like to do in order to help kind of define things a little bit more is take my Sigma E17 brush and any shade that you feel like it just needs a little bit more precision, I like to just kind of pat that same shade just right along where we cut that crease. In case you need to define it just a smidge more. Like say your concealer went a little bit too high, you wanna bring it back down or you just wanna amplify that color just right where it was cut a little bit more. This is one of my favorite techniques to do. So I'm just taking a little bit of the shade called Playground and doing that because I felt like the concealer went a little bit high and lost a little bit of that shade. So I'm just kind of stamping it on like so. And then using my color switch, I'm cleaning the brush and doing the same process with Social Blade. Same thing here on the other side, going in with 518. And lastly, with the shade called B. Yes, I love it. All right, I need to apply a base of makeup so that way we can move on to the under eyes and finish everything off. So I'm gonna do that super quick off camera and be right back. Now I'm gonna finish things off with the lower lash line. So I'm gonna be taking the shade called Love That on my Moda Medium Eye Shader and I'm gonna take this all the way across, just like so. And I'm using what feels like the lightest hand in the world. I'm not even like really pressing hard on this brush. And the pigment coming off is insane. Like I wish you guys could see like just like boop, 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 just like that. And then I'm gonna be taking that same brush I was using as like the tiny cleanup and blending out there to just kind of run along this. Make sure everything blends. I feel like we don't need to overcomplicate the lower lash line here. So I'm gonna move on to the other side. And I'm gonna be so careful. I'm gonna take the step one brush to stamp that all the way across. It's kind of like the medium shader. It's a little bit of a flatter brush and just using the lightest of hands. Trusty color switch, gonna go in with that same fluffy blending brush and just sweep that color out. I think that's the trick to these. They are so pigmented. I think you wanna lay the color down and then go in with a clean blush not blush, brush, <laughs> and blend it out in that method because otherwise, I mean, there's just so much pigment. All right, next, stop the lashes. Let's find the mascara. I'm gonna be taking some of the NYX Worth the Hype and I'm gonna coat up the top and the bottom lashes. And then this look cannot be complete without some lashes. So I'm gonna pop on my Huda Beauty Scarlet number eight. I feel like they are dramatic enough for this look. Then I am not done yet. As you can tell, I don't have any highlighter on my face. I wanna take this shade called Face and uh, see if we can just use that as highlighter today. Oh my gosh. That is a uh, yes. So I'm just gonna apply this to the cheekbones then. Yep. My gosh, that is blinding. A little bit down the bridge of the nose. But here we have it, the final completed rainbow eye look. I freaking love it. It looks so gosh darn cool. This palette, oh my gosh, it is incredible. The pigmentation in this is insane. You have to have a caution label on it. Be careful when blending and applying because it's it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> I know I didn't use all the shades. I mean, there's 39 shades in here. There are only so many that I can layer on my face <laughs> at one time, but I wanted to make sure I use the really colorful ones for you today because I feel like that's the ones that you guys are a little bit more interested in seeing how they perform. At least that was my take on it. I just really wanted to dip into those bright shades and just start playing around with them. Honestly, when I look at this palette, 
I just get so excited. I feel the creativity just like running through my mind and I just think of like, I wanna use this color, this color, this color, this color. I just really wanna experiment. And it has been a while since a palette just got me this excited to just think like, oh my God, I could create so many looks with this. I really enjoy this palette. Kudos to James Charles for creating it. I'm so excited to keep playing it. I would 100% recommend picking it up. I do recommend picking it up from Ulta though because you get points back. But I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope that you guys like this more different eye look. If you wanna see another look using this palette, something more neutral, just leave me a comment with that down below and I would be happy to do so for you. But if you liked today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.